Hi, I'm Vanessa Spencer and I'm the shop manager here at Stampington & Company and welcome to another creative how-to video. Today we're going to be making this mixed media shadow box. The blank shadow box that you can alter is available at the shop at Somerset. And the products that we're going to be featuring today are the new book, In This Garden, which is by Angela Cartwright and Sarah Fishburne, and the Wisteria Collection, which is by Basic Grey. And both these new products are available at the shop at Somerset. My inspiration for this project came from Chapter 3 of this book, a project by artist Tiffany Electra, and she used a plastering technique on the frames that she created. And we're going to show you how to do something similar, but by using products available at the shop at Somerset. So if you'll join me, we'll get started on this project. Okay, so next I'm going to take a foam brush and the blank canvas Claudine Helmet Studio paint and I'm just going to paint the entire frame of this shadow box with the white paint. Just finish by painting the last paint on the shadow box here. And it doesn't have to be coated too evenly or too thickly because we're going to be adding other elements onto the top of it. Okay, so the next step is to take some pieces of torn paper. You can choose any design you like, but I happen to choose this blue floral one from the Wisteria paper pad. And while the paint's still wet, just go ahead and start placing pieces on around the edge of the frame. place them wherever you like. Okay, and then for the next step, I've taken some cheesecloth that I've just purchased at a local craft store and just torn up or cut up with uh, my scissors, just small kind of shabby pieces. And we're gonna take a little bit of the gel mat and just put a little bit over the tops of the paper just randomly over the frame. This is going to help seal the paper and also keep the, the cheesecloth glued down to the, the frame. And then you'll start just layering the cheesecloth on randomly. Okay, I'm finished putting your cheesecloth on. And then the next step is to just take some scrappers flossed by Karen Foster. In this, uh, for this particular project, I'm using brown. Whoops. Let me just take it out of there completely and just start cutting pieces up. And they don't have to be long pieces, you can just keep them fairly short. And then just place those on the frame wherever you want. And again, they don't have to be um, done perfectly. You just want it to kind of have a bit of a messy look so you can place them anywhere. Okay. And now we're going to take the, the gel mat again and start laying or layering it on top of the cheesecloth. And it can be a little bit tricky because the cheesecloth, you know, will kind of want to move around a little bit as you're putting on, and you're probably going to have to use a, a fair bit. Okay. And as you're finishing it up, you can, you know, just kind of work with the, the cheesecloth just to kind of move it around. If you have any areas that are looking a little bit bare, you can. Uh, just kind of arrange it however you see see best. 
Okay, and the gel mat will take quite a while to dry as well, uh, especially because we've applied some, some fairly thick coats of it. So then the next step <laughs> is to take your acrylic paint, the blank canvas again with your foam brush, and to just paint randomly just bits of white acrylic paint over the top and just various areas of the shadow box. And you can actually do this before or after the gel dries. It's, it's really not going to make a big difference. It will still give you the same effect. And I'll just give it a little bit more of a textured look. Okay. And then you're going to put that aside to dry. Here is my, my finished one that has dried. So you can see once it's dried the effect that the white acrylic paint will have and the, the gel matte adhesive dries completely clear so it ends up looking really cool. So then for our next step we're going to work on the inside of the shadow box. This is what the, the inside looks before you alter it. As you can see you just kind of take the frame, slips right over the top of it. So in this case, I've already pre-decorated the inside. I just took the same white uh, acrylic paint and just painted the inside of the shadow area. And then I took some more papers from the basic gray, basic gray wisteria paper pad and just cut them down and just glued them to the inside. Okay. So then the next step is to take a garden looking kind of arch accordion book which we sell at the shop at Somerset and I just painted mine completely with the white acrylic paint and then I got some more the, the dark purple paper which is from the basic gray wisteria pad and cut down the arches so they're about a quarter inch smaller than the actual arch itself so you can see the white paint on the edges and then you're just gonna Use your adhesive to glue down the arch. And then the next step is taking some of this flowered paper from the Wisteria collection. And I just went and cut out all the white flowers because we wanted to use something that would really pop on here. So you're just going to go ahead and start gluing those on to the accordion book. Okay, so once you've glued all the flowers down, and you can take the inside of your shadow box and just apply a little bit of adhesive to the middle area. And you want to use something strong that's going to hold it. I've used the, the DG3 Art Gel. And then just place that inside. And that shouldn't take too long to dry. And then you're just going to take the top of your frame and place it over the top. And then you have your mixed media garden inspired shadow box. So this is your finished shadow box project. You can try making it more personal by adding some pictures or embellishments, rub-ons, anything just to, to embellish it your own personal way. You can try hanging it on a wall or giving it as a gift to a friend or just simply placing it on a shelf. And all the products that we use today are available at the shop at Somerset at www.stampington.com and we hope you enjoyed this creative how-to video.